My name is Kyungan Gang. I'm a Korean artist who lives and works in New York City. I find inspiration when I encounter and interact with people or visit different neighborhoods and places. I work in a wide range of mediums from live performance to video, painting, photography, and installation. For the last few years, I've been working with Mexican flower sellers in New York City, a 90-year-old elderly couple who live in Nebraska, as well as my family in Korea. I have developed special relationships and trust with them through simple actions and gestures. Recently, I'm developing a new body of work inspired by the American painter Elizabeth Murray's studio space. Last summer, I had the opportunity to attend the Elizabeth Murray residency for four weeks. The residency is located in Washington County, New York. In 2017, Morris family partnered with an art organization, Colorworks, and opened a summer residency. I was lucky to stay at Elizabeth Morris farmhouse and visit her private studio. I really like her work, so I was very excited to take part in the residency. When I first entered her studio, I was deeply moved. The studio was empty, but I strongly felt her creative energy. Her fingerprints and the history of her marks ingrained into the words looked alive and fresh. I did not have a chance to meet her since she has passed away, but I was hoping to create spiritual connection with her. I wanted to build an intimate relationship with her studio space, so I asked the residency if I could use her studio even though I had my own. Luckily, they allow me to use it. I spent hours just being in her studio. I opened myself up to all the visual and auditory information the space offered. As time passes, I could observe subtle details in the space. The light changes, the breeze, birds chirping, and raindrops. Soon, I started to document my sincere responses in relation to my experience being in her studio. I set up my camera in a fixed position in the middle of the space and recorded my daily practice.
I used my body as a medium to explore and revive her studio space. I gradually developed actions and movements. I observed and examined the space, animating her studio objects moving through it, and created a series of dance movement and watercolor drawings, mirroring the marks on the walls. Right now, I have hundreds of photographs, hours of video footage, and a series of watercolor drawings produced in her studio. In my studio, I am reviewing, editing, and managing the materials. I think about what could be the best way to present this body of work. I see the project is open-ended, and the viewers can interpret it in multiple ways. Through my work, I hope to share the energy I felt in her workspace that retains the residue of this inspiring artist spirit.